Hello again. Ah, I've got so many things I want to do, but with this broken wrist from coming off my e-bike, it's really difficult. Stuck with one hand. I got this great little gadget sent to me. It's for pulling apart old lenses, and I can't use it because I can use this in one hand, but I can't grab the lens to hold it tightly with the other hand. So. Just simple things like that I have to wait for another couple of weeks at least for this to get a bit fixed so I thought what can I do with one hand I thought we'd have a look at the mount adapter setting in Fuji films because when we talk about uh, using IBIS for longer focal lengths or short focal length lenses the IBIS helps tremendously but there's a big difference between the two and turning your IBIS on or off isn't the end of the story. When you select the mount adapter setting for manual lenses, if you're using vintage lenses, old film camera lenses, then you really need to familiarize yourself with the mount adapter setting and change it to suit the lens you've got. Because that doesn't just change the XF data, it also affects the IBIS. So I'm going to run a couple of short video tests to show you the difference between a long focal length and a wide angle. For the longer length, I'm using the uh, infamous horrible old 500mm f8 mirror lens. Okay, plenty of these on the market. Some are really nice, some are a bit dodgy. This one's a bit dodgy, but it will show you how the mount adapter setting affects the IBIS when you're changing between say a long lens like this 500 to a nice 28mm wide angle here. I'll be using the Fujifilm X-S10 to do the videoing and show you on the menu system how to change the mount setting and what effect it has on IBIS. It really does make quite a difference so stick around and have a look. This is the Fujifilm X-S10. Now if you're already in movie mode on the mode dial click on menu and go to the IQ setting back across down to the second page the last item is the mount adapter setting you can then go across and choose some either presets or make your own for instance this last one is 500mm if I want to change that I can go across focal length setting, go across again and then you can change this maybe I'll try 200mm you can also adjust the tens and the singles so now lens 6 is 200mm you can change all of these focal lengths to suit lenses that uh, you use often so it's very quick to choose if however you're not in movie mode or get back to shooting mode in the on the mode dial on the XS10 click on menu and then go to the IQ and this has got three pages of menus I'm on the third page go right down to the end again and it's there so here we are with the 500mm mirror lens the IPIS is working quite hard but even on this lens it's quite jittery there's no way I'd recommend using this uh, mirror lens for video by the way but this is just to test the mount settings see what happens the mount is set to 500mm for this lens and now I put the 28mm on I've still got the mount setting at 500 and as I move the lens around the IBIS is moving the sensor around like crazy trying to compensate for what it thinks as a 500mm lens so all this movement you're seeing now after I go up or down is the IBIS moving the sensor around because the mount is on the wrong setting so now I'm going to change the setting to suit this 28mm lens. Okay, now the mount setting is on 28mm to match this lens, and now as I move up and down, 
there's no more uh, hunting around by the ibis with the sensor that's now behaving exactly as it should I move down it stays there I move up it stays there make sure when you're using a manual lens your mount setting is adjusted to suit the lens you're using okay so there you go just changing your mount adapter setting will make a do big difference in how your IBIS uh, operates depending on the lens you've got. So for using old vintage camera lenses like this uh, or even this horrible old thing then you can make a big difference now. Or even if you choose other old uh, vintage lenses from film camera days changing your mount adapter setting makes a big difference on how the IBIS actually operates. And when I get out of this thing, I'll make some more videos, okay? But until then, pick up your camera, go for a walk, and have fun. Bye.